Lead on, O King Eternal, the day of march has come. Henceforth in fields of conquest, thy tents shall be our home. Through days of preparation, thy grace has made us strong. And now, O King Eternal, we live Lift our battle song. Lead on, O King Eternal, till sin's fierce war shall cease, and holiness shall whisper the sweet Amen of peace. For not with swords loud clashing, nor roll of stirring drums, with deeds of love and mercy the heavenly kingdom comes. Lead on, O King Eternal, we follow not with fears, for gladness breaks like morning where thy face appears. Thy cross is lifted o'er us, we journey in its light. The crown awaits the conquest, lead on, O God of might. Henry Smart, composer of the music to which we sing Lead On, O King Eternal, was born in London. He studied law at Highgate, but abandoned it in favor of music. Although mostly self-taught, he became one of the finest organists of his day. Between 1831 and when he died in 1879, he served as organist at Blackburn, Lancashire, St. Philip's Church, St. Luke's Church, and St. Pancras Church in London. He wrote a great deal of church music, and in addition to publishing two collections of his own, served as music editor for Psalms and Hymns for Divine Worship in 1867, and the Presbyterian Hymnal of 1875, the hymn book of the United Presbyterian Church of Scotland. In 1865, Smart, who had always had poor eyesight, became totally blind, but his skill was so great that he continued as organist of St. Pancras until his death in 1879. Ernest W. Shirtleff wrote Lead on, O King Eternal, setting it to a composition by Henry Smart for his graduation class from Andover Theological Seminary in 1887, and published it that year in his Hymns of Faith. Born in Boston, Ernest was educated at the Boston Latin School, Harvard University, New Church Theological Seminary, and Andover Theological Seminary. Ordained a congregational minister, he held pastorates at Ventura, California, Old Plymouth and Palmer, Massachusetts, and the First Congregational Church of Minneapolis. In 1905, he organized the American Church at Frankfurt, Germany, and in 1906 became director of student activities at the Academy Vitti.